a touch of blue blood and a little bitty bit of red Indian boy. Mm -hmm. Curly black and king kiss mixed with yellow chin kiss. If they lump it all together. Well, you got a recipe for a get-along scene oh, What a beautiful dream If it could only come true, you know, you know What we need is a great big melting pot Big enough to take the world and all it's got Keep it stirring for a hundred years or more And turn out coffee-colored people to buy the store American song, a British song with all the colors, especially the red Indian coming in was a bit of a shocker. Then after that, it uh, came to the chorus where it says that you know we can uh, we came up with a beautiful concept that if we put all the white, the blacks, the reds together, perhaps then we'll get a lot of browns coming out after hundred years or so, or in the future. So that is the concept they wrote this song with, I think. They put in some th other things which were quite irrelevant later on. They brought in religion into the mix. They brought in uh, other thing into the mix, uh, and uh, threw in the Beatles in there as if they are in the same league. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I mean uh, this is typical British. You know, I can almost bet you that uh, most of the songwriters are Brits here. Yeah. Anyway, it was a good concept, but if you see the UK of today, they are so racially divided. They are so discriminative. I mean, they are known as a land of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What else do you want to know about them? America, they robbed the land of the natives, the so-called red Indian boys and girls. They raped them, looted them, and took their land. So that is the America you have today. So if these people write songs like these, you really have no respect for them because you know there's something else going on in your country today and even in the past, and uh, your whole history shows otherwise that you don't want this to ever happen 
So it's a funny thing. Maybe these people are a, a mixed breed, so to speak, a blue mink. So they had this concept in mind. They may not represent UK and USA because we all know how um, racially divided those two nations are and how they can't even protect the minorities in their countries. Forget about giving them equal rights and all. That has never ever happened in the history of those countries. In fact, in America, there's never been a female president or for that matter, a major female director in Hollywood. So it's not only about a president. It's as simple as that. There has been one and a lot of awards were thrown on her. But if you see her track record, it was a father who was a major name in the industry, uh, wrote The Godfather, etc. So even the one female that supposedly came disappeared after no time, after getting a few awards just for the sake of it. So you can see how racially divided, whether the entertainment industry of America or the politics, it has always been a land of thieves and rapists, just like the UK. So they got their land, stealing it from the Red Indian boys and girls. What they call Red Indian boys and girls. I wouldn't be that disrespectful anyway. <laughs> it's uh, uh, For me, uh, it's all about, uh, I don't know. Uh, I Listening to the song, I said it started with a little bit of white and a little bit of black. And I said, wow, they are turning into something nice. This is a recipe for something, a good good dish. Uh, but then uh, soon it turned out to be something that is very, uh, you know, a reflection of uh, people who are quite oblivious to the entire world. They only live in their uh, bubble and they only live in their uh, side of the world and they have no consideration for other cultures, other, uh, you know, customs, nothing. Uh, you know, the way the things were thrown, rabbis and the friars and Vishnus and the gurus, who's Vishnus and who's gurus? You need to know it. You just can't throw things like that. I feel offended. I definitely feel offended. And I feel offended every time uh, somebody from the West tries to understand and or not tries to understand but pretends to know yeah. Hinduism. You have no clue. Come and please ask. Yeah, at I mean, least the, ask the us. Biggest, Don't keep offending us all the time just like that Vishnus and Gurus. Who's Vishnu? The biggest joke Who's is Vishnu? they are close to 1.5 billion Hindus in the world. But today. nobody... They, People uh, pretend and, to know, and, but they don't really care. Yeah, and there are you so really many know. of them. So many of them in the US and UK. But Diwali is not a holiday in those countries. Mm -hmm. Diwali is not a holiday in those countries. Holi is not a holiday in those countries. So when you use such words in your lyrics, have some shame. Have some shame. Because your country doesn't even give a holiday for all those people who celebrate this major festival and worship these gurus and Vishnus and... Friars, etc. For a change, you know, I don't care about the entire country and their entire system and the government and this, that. Uh, for, for a change, just focus on this group, uh, what we just heard. It was a good start. They started off well. I thought they were taking us somewhere. But then again, the knowledge is so limited about the world. Yeah, and the knowledge is so... After that. It's not thing. just, uh, just Last that. Last two minutes or so it's, was uh, your you're position. pretending to know something that you have no clue about. Now, I cannot pretend to know all the customs and all the things about the Maori people of Australia. I really know, get get to know them on intimately. Uh, you know, be, being there, yeah, on the continent I'm talking about. Uh, so, I really, if I want to know them, I would spend some intimate time with them. I would be with them. I would try to understand from their point of view instead of having my own point of view for them. It's as simple as that. Whenever Hinduism or anything related to symbolisms or anything that is referred to, by especially by Western people, they always have their own spin of it. It's not your spin. It's my lifestyle. And if you have not lived it, you hardly have a clue what it is. So just throwing those words just to, I don't know, to please who, I don't know. It is not definitely not going for the Hindus because uh, I know we are very tolerant people and we don't care. Whatever you say and whatever you do, never, uh, you know, a person no, from not that we don't our care. lifestyle. It no, it's not, we just... don't become violent. We are definitely yeah. not somebody who can say that we don't know. become violent. But like it affects us. You guys do. It affects us and it has been. Um, I don't know how people should be more sensitized towards other cultures, other communities, because it has been, uh, I mean, lifetime of my lifetime that I have been. Uh, Facing this kind of problem, but nobody really cares. Nobody really bothers. You want to be always understood that this we did. And now I know a lot of people who would be hurt by my comments that they intended to do something else. We also intend something else. Why are we misunderstood every single time? It's as simple as that. You do not want to understand this. And then you say they intended something else. Yeah, it's so just a waste of time on these losers talking about such things. 
pathetic racists, robbers, losers, looters, rapists, etc. That's it for this one.